Farns in Veldhoven, Holland writes, Paul, I have a power plant premiere, which I operate in multi-wave for years now, and I really love it. As far as connected devices go, which have transformers and capacitors, you've explained why the lower impedance and the extension of the top of the sine wave matters. Can you also explain the influence of the lower output impedance on a load which has a switched mode power supply and the influence of multi-wave on the operation of such a supply? Well, sure, it's about the same thing. The switch mode power supplies in Class D amplifiers and most modern electronics today, from televisions to receivers, are using increasingly switch mode power supplies. And they are very efficient, they're small, and they can produce a whole lot of power. So <clears throat> if you think about it, and we've talked about this before, how does a switch mode power supply work? Well, basically, we take our standard method of converting AC to DC, which is a diode bridge and a capacitor, right? So you got four diodes, AC comes in, it separates that AC into plus AC and minus AC. So half waveform going like this and then stops, so you get this zoop, boop, zoop, boop, and then down here, same thing, right? And, but it's just separated. Now we put it into a capacitor which stores energy, so as the waveform falls, it just keeps it up, and we have basically a crude version of DC, all right? But now, what do we do with that? Well, in a standard power supply, we would put that into a big power transformer, and then afterwards go on with our regulation or whatever we're gonna do with all our power supply caps. In a switch mode supply, what we're gonna do is chop that up. We have a thing called a chopper, and that chopper is going to chop up that plus and minus waveform into, or, or, and even if it's just you know ground and plus, however they got it configured, it's going to chop that up into quick little bits of power, so that that high frequency is able to go through a tiny little transformer, thus reducing the size, and then we take it and do whatever we want with it. It's all in a small little box, but. The point of all of this is that a power plant, a regenerator that actively regulates the voltage and lowers the impedance is still important, if not more so, because the need for that regulated power as, as opposed to grabbing gulps of it to fill the caps and all the stuff that goes on with a, a, a power supply it still makes exactly as much sense as it does with a standard power supply. So everything we've ever talked about, the benefits of regulated power, the benefits of lower impedance that power plants provide, the regeneration, uh, is, is still very much active. In fact, the only thing that I would say, I was going to say distortion, but you know, let's talk about that for one minute. One of the reasons that we tell you the distortion is lower on the sine wave of a power plant is because while distortion isn't important, and it certainly isn't for a switch mode power supply, and less so for a, um, uh, an EI, a standard transformer, and distortion being any shape of the waveform that varies from a standard pure sine wave, really doesn't matter until that distortion comes from the clipping, the flat topping of the sine wave. And right at the peak when we lose energy, which we need to charge those caps, that's when that distortion figure becomes really important and where a regenerator fills in that peak and we get more energy, lower ripple, better regulation, and much better sound. So, I. Hope that helps. By the way, as you're standing here looking, don't these look sharp? These are the Aspen FR5s, and we just got in some sample white grills. I think they look really cool. So cool, in fact, I am going to attempt to convince Terry to swap out our white FR5s for a pair of black FR5s with these white grills. 
wish me luck. I doubt that she's going to buy into it. But hey, you know, I'm going to give it a try because I think these look just really sharp. These are cool. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. Thank you.